Hello, all of you. Where's Ufense? He makes me so cross sometimes. I told him to meet us at the crossroads at 2 o'clock, but he wasn't there. <sighs> Hello, my Gloria. Where were you? We've been waiting for you for 10 minutes. 10 minutes? <laughs> you couldn't have. We did wait. It wasn't at least 10 minutes. Where were you? I, I, I don't know. Why didn't you look in your watch? Have you seen my watch? Yo, hey, it's cool, eh? It's very nice, but do you know how to read it? Well, no, not actually. I can't read it. You can't read the time. Well, we're going to have to do something about that before we go on our journey to the farm. Hmm? What, what? All fans, I can't read. <gasps> Oh, no! How is he going to know when something important is written like danger or food or what what? How has he managed to get so old and not read? <gasps> what what can even read? And I'm just a monkey. My Laura is going to have to start teaching him his letters. Yo, oh dear, poor old fancy. What what what? Yo. I'm so glad we've sorted all of that out because now we have to make a plan about our journey to the farm. Oh yes, we need to know what time to leave and all of that. Exactly. Now, the farmer says we have to be at the farm by four o'clock because that's when he puts the horses away. Horses? You really love horses. And he says we can help him put them, put them away if we're there on time though. Oh, we must. Yes, but that means we have to make sure Ufense knows the time to be there. Hey, it's not just me, you know. Okay, Miss Smarty Olivia. You tell me what the time is now. Well, um, the small hand says three, and the long hand says, um, it's past three sometime. Very good, Olivia. Now, can anyone tell me exactly what time it is past three? Fifteen. But why is it fifteen? The big hand is also on three. Well, the three is the hours, so it's three o'clock. But the big hand counts in minutes. Each of these is five minutes. So that means five, ten, fifteen. Fifteen minutes past three. So, no, 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 no. Now it's 16 minutes past three. Very good, Tavo. So, when you started telling us it was 15 minutes past the hour, and when you were finished, it was 16 minutes past. So, time has gone by by one minute. So, how can it be quarter past or half past? Ah, now for that, you need to look at the shape of a clock. Now, with this type of a clock, the numbers go around in a circle and the hands go like this. So let's say, for instance, the hands went like this. What would it be? A half a circle. Correct. And we'd call that half past the hour. And what about this one? A quarter. And we'd call that quarter past the hour. And what would this be? Quarter two. It's on its way to the next hour. So it's quarter two. Very good. So now, Ufense, does that make it all clearer for you? Yes. So 15 minutes past is quarter past. Mm -hmm. And quarter two is 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 45 minutes past the hour. Absolutely. Well. We've been talking about this for some time now. When did we start? Quarter past three. Fifteen minutes past three. And how long have we been talking? Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Four minutes. Well done, everyone. So that's time that's gone. And it's called elapsed time. Ah, oh, like laps around the field. Well, it sounds a little bit like that. Let's ask the old tree if it is, though. Hello, all of you. No, Ufense, it's not laps, as in going round and around the racetrack. 
It's a lapse spelt like this. And it means time passed by or time gone. So, for example, it's taken me about 15 seconds to say all that. And so, I could say that 15 seconds have elapsed. They've gone by. Oh, and sadly, we'll never get them back again. Bye for now. Thanks, old tree. You know, I think when people get old like old tree here, they notice very much when time has gone by, when time has elapsed. So now that we've sorted all of that out, I need all of you to help me to work out how long it's going to take to pick everybody up and to get to the farm. Before the horses got back. Yes, so Yolandi and all of you can see the horses. Now, what time did the farmer say he puts them in the stables? Four o'clock. So what time would we have to leave the village to get to the farm then? Well, we finish school at one o'clock. And I've got soccer practice till four. Oh, thanks, eh? Hey, okay, I can miss one day of practice. Okay, so if we leave the village at two o'clock and it takes one and a half hours to get to the farm, what time are we going to get there? At half past three. Right. Wait a minute. How did you work that out? If we leave at two o'clock, just add one hour and it makes three o'clock. And then add another half an hour and it's 3.30. Or half past three. Time for us to go and see the horses. But now we have to work out when to fetch all of you all. I'll pick Tabo up first, then Yolandi, then Olivia and Ofense. Wait, let's write it up and see how long it takes to get from one house to the other. Hey, Megan. Ah, my friend. Ah, what's the time? Ah. <clears throat> Uh, five past two. Oh. Yeah. Why? Well, no. I just wanted to know. Mmm. Ah. Okay. Uh, Marvin? E yeah. What's the time? Hey. It's now a minute later. Oh. So, so, so what time does that make it? Well, it was five past two a minute ago. Mm -hmm. So now, it's six minutes, minutes past two. Oh, okay. Oh, Megan? Yes! What time is it? Hey, time for me to get out of here. <clears throat> ha! Good! <laughs> so now that you've told me how long it takes to get from one house to another, if I get to Tabo's house at two o'clock, what time will I get to Yolandi's house? Four minutes past two. And if I get to your house at that time, how long do you think it'll take for us to pack your things and to say goodbye to your family? Two minutes. So what time will we leave your house? Well, if you arrive at my house at four minutes past two, mm -hmm. it takes two minutes to say goodbye and get into the car. She'll leave my house at six minutes past two. And then what time will we get to Olivia and Offense's house? It takes seven minutes to get to our house from Yolandes, so you should be there at um, six plus seven, 13 minutes past. So, how many minutes have elapsed since I started my journey with Tabo? 13 minutes has gone by. So, we say goodbye to Olivia and Ufense's family in, say, about two minutes, and then we're back on the road to the farm by? 15 minutes past two. And what's another way of saying that? Quarter past two. And hopefully, we'll be on the way to the farm to see the horses.
password. Now I see. Ofense needed to learn to read his watch, to read the time, not how to read his letters. Shoo. Now they all know what elapsed means. And I know too. It means how much time has gone by since we started something. What, what? Elapsed time. What a good word. What, what, what? <laughs> elapsed time. The time it takes for something to happen or to do something. I wonder if you can guess how much time has elapsed since you've been watching us. See you next time. Bye! Bye! Bye.